Hey guys, if your virus and threat protection is missing from Windows security, then keep watching as in this video I'll show you some troubleshooting steps you can take to solve this problem. Now there is not one solution that will work for everyone, so you would need to go through each of these methods to find the solution that works for you. So if we head over to our Windows security, you'll see that I currently have the virus and threat protection showing here and that's because I just fixed the issue, but if you're experiencing this problem, then this option just won't be available for you. So to fix this, what we need to do is head over to our start menu and you need to search for CMD and then right click on this command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. Now inside of here we need to type in a bunch of commands and I've already got these saved on a notepad in another tab over here and I'll leave these in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste them too and we just need to go through each of these lines one by one and copy and paste each of these into here and then we can come back and do the second line and paste that over here and come back and do this last third line here and paste that in and then just give that a few seconds for the signature update to complete. And then we can come back in and we need to do these DISM commands too. This is gonna scan all of your core Windows system files just to ensure nothing's corrupt or broken. And let's do this second one now and copy and paste that in here. And then over to this last one and we can paste that in the command window. Just make sure that the previous commands finish before pasting this in. So you'll need to wait for this verification to get to 100% first. And then once that gets to 100%, we can copy and paste this last command in here and here enter and then we'll just need to wait for this last one to get to 100% and once that's complete we can then head out of the command prompt window and then you can check to see if that's fixed the issue otherwise move on to the next method. So the next thing we're going to check is to ensure the necessary Windows security services are running on our computer and we can do this by heading over to the start menu and just searching for services and then come over to the services app. So in this list of processes, the first thing that we need to check that's running is something called Security Center, which will be down here with the rest of the S's. And as you can see, I've got Security Center here, and just make sure this server status is set to running. And if it isn't, you can press the start button to start it. Then we can close out of this, then scroll all the way down and we need to look for Windows Defender. And also make sure this one's running in the background. As you can see here, I've got Windows Defender Firewall. It should be set to running and then close out of this window. And as long as Windows Defender Firewall is running, we can then close out of this services window. And the next thing you need to do is come over to the start menu and we're gonna search for settings and tap on the settings icon and scroll all the way down here to Windows Update and press this check for updates button just to ensure we are running the latest version of Windows as sometimes outdated software can also cause issues with our apps. And whilst we're in the settings window, we need to come over to apps from the left hand side here then come inside of installed apps and then we need to scroll all the way down this list and there should be a section at the bottom called system components so click on this and then come down this list and right at the bottom here you'll see windows security and we just need to select these three little dots to the right of it and come into advanced options and then we're going to scroll down to this reset section and first of all we're just going to press this repair button and this is going to check for any issues with the app and once that's done it's also a good idea to press this reset button as well and then we can just confirm by clicking reset now if that's still not working for you the very last thing we can do is head over to our start menu and you need to search for powershell and then just right click on this windows powershell and make sure to run it as administrator then inside of here we need to type in the following command and once again I've got this in my notepad saved and I'll leave this in the video description so we're just going to come over to our notepad and copy this and then we can come back over to the PowerShell and paste this inside of here and then hit enter on your keyboard and then we can head out of the PowerShell window and you'll need to restart your computer in order for the changes to take effect and once you've restarted your computer that should have fixed the virus and threat protection missing from your PC if this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe until next time